Now let's get to the main part. There are, there are two different basic types of circuits. The first one is called the series circuit. This is a circuit that is in one complete loop like this without any branches. So you can see the battery here. The current will go through, going through the emitter. Then it will go to a light bulb. Then you go to a second light bulb. Then you go back to the battery. A little bit like a train going along a single line. This is compared with the parallel circuit. For the parallel circuit, there will be branching, which means the current goes along here, goes through the emitter, and at this point, it could split up into two lines. So one wire will go over here, and the other wire will go over here. The current would still go through each one, therefore lighting up both the light bulbs as well. And then when they reach this point, they can join back and then go back to the battery. So in summary, a series circuit is one that connects an electrical source with its components one after the other, forming a single loop. The current flowing through each of the components will be the same. So this means that if you measure the current at each part of the wire, they would all have the same current. So over here is an example of a series circuit. One question is this, if the current through the lamp 1 is 2 amperes, what will be the current through lamp 2? The correct answer would be is also 2 amperes because if it's a series circuit, every point along the line would be the same current. Now, the main disadvantage of a series circuit is a break in any part of the series circuit stops the flow of current through the whole circuit. So if let's say the wire here broke, then all of these emitter lamp and lamp would not work. And also if let's say one of the lamps spot and the current could not flow through, it would stop the current flowing through the entire circuit. This is why the CV circuit is not regularly used in household wiring. We will instead use the parallel circuit more often. A parallel circuit is one that splits into two or more branches with connected electrical components. And the sum of the currents flowing through each branch is equal to the current flowing out from the source. So that means right, that the current flowing out through here will be the most, is the maximum. And then when it branches off, the current over here would split up. Maybe it will split unevenly or maybe evenly. However, the sum of the current flowing through these two branches would equal to the main. A basic question would be, if the current through the battery is 4 amperes, can the current through any of the lamps be 5 amperes? The answer to this would be no. The maximum current that can ever flow through either one of these branches would be 4 amperes, which is the maximum coming from the battery. So in another example, if there are 4 amperes coming through the main line and they told you that this wire over here had 2 amperes going through, and they ask you how many amperes is going through the other wire, you will have to say it was 2 amperes because the currents through these two branches when added together would be the current going through the main line. Similarly, if we say that the current going through this branch was 1 ampere, solve that the current going through the bottom branch would be 3 amperes. If we say that the current going through here was 4 amperes, then the amount of current going through the bottom branch would be 0 amperes. This would normally mean that the lamp here is broken and therefore all the current is going through the top branch. So for example, what happens if the circuit is broken? Let's say if it breaks over here, then the current would flow through, flow over here and it will flow through lamp 2 and go back to the battery. So lamp 1 may not light up because this circuit part is broken, but lamp 2 will still work. If the brake was here instead, lamp 1 would work but lamp 2 would not work. However, if the brake is on the main line like this, both of these lamps would not work.